The town of Wellington moving forward with plans to bring a major permanent dressage facility to the area. Town councilors voted in favor of that part of the plan earlier today, but they're still debating just how big the equestrian village will be. We go live to News Channel 5's Dan Corcoran, who's been monitoring day three of these contentious discussions, Dan. Well, Michael, I can tell you right now the discussions on day three have, in fact, come to a close, and there have been several decisions made today, including one that just happened the last 20 minutes or so, allowing Equestrian Village here to be larger in size than current land use uh, regulations allow. Most of that focused on the size of the hotel, the height. Right now, regulations are at about 35 feet, and developers were actually asking to increase that level to 66 feet. The council, though, settled on a 58-foot height for that hotel. And right now, that approval needs to go up to Tallahassee for approval and then come back here to the council for approval as well before it moves forward. Now, this is the longest one-topic discussion this council says it's ever had, and still opponents say they haven't, enough of, haven't had enough of a chance to weigh in. Right now, they're at least talking about possibly reducing the height. Um, but at the end of the day, it's also the same day that you have to make a decision on this. Um, maybe we should have had a discussion about height two months ago. The developers of Equestrian Village were looking to amend Wellington's current comprehensive plan to increase building coverage size and increase floor area as well. The Equestrian Arena, a hotel shop, and restaurants are all part of this plan. So we are hearing from counselors on both sides of this today, but again, it did pass details, the exact parameters of how big this plan will be. That will come soon, likely in the next few months. Until then, we'll have to keep you posted on that. Reporting live in Wellington, I'm Dan Corcoran, WPTV News Channel 5.